a national nuclear waste dump in the Northern Territory is a step closer. The Senate today passed the Radioactive Waste Management Bill, sparking howls of anger from traditional, traditional owners and the ter Territory Government. But the only nominated site, Muckatee Station, remains in doubt as traditional owners continue a legal challenge. Jano Gibson reports. The sounds of protest could be heard from the Red Centre to the nation's capital. But it made little difference on the Senate floor. Order. There being 52 ayes, 10 noes, the matter is resolved in the affirmative. It paves the way for Australia's homegrown radioactive waste to be stored in a purpose-built national repository. We've got Commonwealth radioactive waste stored in lots of places around this country. We need to put it together in one spot. The most likely destination is Muckety Station in the Northern Territory. The Federal Parliament has uh, once again trampled over the rights of Territorians. Under no circumstances do we think this stuff should be put on trucks and dumped on a cattle station and abandoned. Muckety Station was nominated by members of the Napa clan, but other traditional owners opposed to the dump are heartbroken by today's news. They vowed to continue their fight in the federal court. Now, whilst the judge and jury are literally out, the government should not be in. This is uh, absolute fast-tracking. If the court case succeeds, the site of Australia's radioactive waste dump will again be up for nomination. People around the country should know when the Muckety nomination falls over, somebody else's block will be in the firing line. And wherever that ends up being, the state or territory government will get a $10 million medical fund, thanks to a deal brokered by the coalition. And if it's the Northern Territory, it'll, it will allow the Northern Territory to ensure that they have well-trained staff to use at the oncology centre. But until the outcome of the court case, nothing is certain. Jano Gibson, Late Line.